All right, so we're stripping some corn, and uh, first I preheated the oven to 350, and I baked them in here for 30 minutes. Makes it just perfect. You keep the husk on. Uh, you pull off first the the leaves that dangle down, and you see I missed a bit of the hair here, but you pull out as much hair as you can. And uh, this is what we start out with. So we'll go over to the counter now, and I'll show you how to strip corn. So you can see we've been at it already here. That's about a 600 milliliter container of stripped corn and uh, that's from three cobs. So basically you don't need to have a tray on the bottom if your countertop is clean and the corn will just fall down onto there. You can use the bowl or not uh, depending. Try it both ways. I've tried it both ways. I'm still, I just saw someone do this way on another video online and I'm trying to, de to decide whether or not I prefer that way uh, so I'm just trying it out um, it just kind of gives you a, a higher resting spot but I'm thinking it might dull the knife more because the knife keeps hitting it so uh, but the verdict is not yet in so I'm just gonna pull all the hair off now, I did a stupid thing here. I got the hair all over the thing that's collecting up my corn. So I should have stripped that <coughs> over there somewhere. Because I don't want the hair getting into the corn that I'm collecting up as much as possible. So you can do it, like I said, you can do it without the, without the uh, whatchamacallum, the bowl. Now, basically you want a really sharp knife. I just sharpened this one. Really sharp knife makes a world of difference. Uh, for doing this. It just goes through like a hot knife through butter. Um, you can try going down. I tried going down the side like this and I actually found it a little bit easier and I'm going to cut you off by doing this. Doing it right in front of me because I can see what I'm doing and going across my body. I actually found it easier. And you don't got to go fast or hard. Basically that's all you're doing. And you can see with a good sharp knife I can actually go nice and slow and safe and uh, actually I think I do prefer it without the bowl there. Uh, the benefit of the bowl is if you're doing a lot of it <coughs> it keeps the cob it keeps the cob elevated so it all falls down and the corn that you're cutting um, off doesn't get in the way of, of your uh, cutting action. You can see it keeps the cob elevated well above the, but you hear I just, I just hit that bowl and that's going to dull my knife. So I think I actually prefer it without the bowl there um, because it's not going to have much of an effect on, or it's not going to dull my knife as much as otherwise with the bowl. So that's basically all you do. Uh, before you do this, I didn't let the corn cool. You probably want to let the corn cool a bit. That's kind of warm. I just had it done there and I wanted to show you. So there, that's basically all there is to it. This stuff freezes really well. I haven't done that myself. I've canned it up. I'm going to show you um, how to make some cream style corn or how to can that up as well. Uh, but that's all you do. You strip your corn. Um, when it comes out of the freezer, it uh, tastes fantastic. The canned stuff, the canned stuff, you open a jar of the cream corn and honestly it tastes like it's just come right off the cob even when you open it a year later um, and that's all there is to stripping your corn so there's about two dozen corn in my huge pot comes up to about the seven liter mark and uh, we're going to show you what we're going to do next so one hand blender uh, the pot's not on at the moment so there's no heat there Actually, let me take this camera off of here and see if I can blend with one hand and film with the other and you can see what's going on. Let's try that. Obviously we're making cream corn here. And the lighting could be a little bit better. That's for sure. Now, I'm not 
sure whether or not I'm going to have to add any liquid. I'll find out once I get a cream. My recollection last year is that I did not, but that I should have. pretty much mushed as much as it's going to get. Um, it's down to about the 4 liter mark now and you can see it is extremely thick and I think this year I'm going to add a bit of uh, liquid to it, maybe a bit of lemon juice and some water. Alright, so I decided I'm not adding lemon juice but I did add two cups of water. It's still reasonably thick I think that's probably be going to be enough. It's it's thinned out a little bit anyway, and I think that's probably going to be enough given that last year I didn't add any water and it still canned up just fine. So now I got the stove on just below three, and I'm just going to slowly bring it up. Uh, don't really need to boil it. I'm just going to get it nice and hot so I can hot pack these. Uh, once it starts to bubble a bit, then I'll turn the heat off and uh, pack the jars. Alright, it's all packed in. I got 11 of the 1 cup or 250 milliliter jars. And 4, 5, 6, 7 of the larger, um, larger jars, the uh, 2 cup or 500 milliliter. Now I got to get lids on those. I got the rims all cleaned off really well of each of those. And I got to get the lids and the uh, the snap lids and the rings on there, and then we're going to get the canner up onto here. So the larger jars are on the bottom, um, and then you can see I put a blank in the middle with uh, filled with water, and the water level is filled up about uh, three quarters of the way along the sides of these jars. The reason I put the blank in is because when it's processing in there, one of the other ones could potentially tip over and that will keep it from tipping over. And then I just put in the rack for the second layer and now I'll put the smaller jars all on top here. Alright, the small jars are all in and one blank for aforementioned reasons and now the lid's going to go on. I've already got the heat on high there. It'll take a while to get it going though. Alright, here they are after processing. I found that one didn't seal so that has to go right into the fridge and be consumed or I could throw that in the freezer would be okay and let's have a look at the other layer now why didn't that seal probably just looking at it well I don't know why it didn't seal it could be the rim I didn't have clean properly. That's quite possible. I normally don't get any <coughs> like that. But the rest of the ones on the top sealed, so that's good. Alrighty, let's see how the bottom layer did. They all look good. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, they're all fine. Sealed up great. Alright, we're done. That's how you make your cream corn.